An ABC News exclusive with the parents of the boy who was severely injured when he fell out of a bunk bed at the Little League World Series. They are now suing. Eva Pilgrim spoke with them. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, George. The parents tell me this should never have happened. What should have been one of the greatest moments of their son's young life turned into a nightmare. And this morning, the warning they have for other parents. This morning, the parents of 13-year-old Easton Oliverson are speaking out about how a simple fix could have saved their son from a nearly life-ending accident. I mean, you talk about gross oh. neglect. All we've been through, and it was 100% preventable. And that brings up Easton Oliver Sam with the runner. Easton, part of the first out, team out of Utah to make it to the Little League World Series last August in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. And the Snow Canyon Little League All Stars oh. heading to Williamsport. We eat, breathe, sleep baseball. They love baseball. But that excitement unexpectedly stolen. So we were sleeping in the middle of the night, and all of a sudden, Coach Entz, Mark Entz, comes in and is like, Jace, get up. Easton's, Easton's thrown up. He's fallen off the bed. So I sit him down. And right when I sat him down, instantly, that sweet boy lost all ability to do any simple commands. Like, Easton, sit up straight. Easton, open your eyes. Then 12-year-old Easton rushed to the hospital. Dr. Maffei taps my shoulder and says, Dad, you need to come if, give your son a kiss goodbye. He's in serious critical condition. I said, I love you, buddy, and I didn't know. I didn't know if that was the last time I'd see him alive or, or what, but they told me about 20 minutes later, um, Easton had a 0% chance to live. They basically told you they did the surgery and they didn't expect he would survive. They said a max 15 to 20 minutes. They, it would have been pointless to even have a surgery. Doctors say he suffered an epidural hematoma and fractured skull. In the aftermath of the fall, the Oliversons learning their son wasn't the first to be injured falling from a bed in the Little League dorms. At some point in this whole process, you get a, a, another parent reaches out to you guys. W what did that parent share with you? That there was another little boy in 2019 who had suffered a TBI, and because of a bunk bed and not taking the safety precautions, it should have taken my son. The Oliversons filing suit claiming to find a history of previous falls, at least a dozen since 2005, the suit claims, and discovering emails during litigation where the league discussed safety rails for the beds. One employee raising concern writing, one thought, have we ever considered bars rails for the top bunks? Likely due to my own trauma growing up when I fell out of my bunk bed, but just an idea to provide some additional protection to the kids on the top bed. Not a very soft fall in the middle of the night. Kids have fallen out of the top bunks of the bunk beds, and they may not have been as serious injuries as Easton suffered, uh, but they were orthopedic injuries, they were concussions, they were things like that. Little League telling ABC News out of an abundance of caution following Easton's fall, Little League removed all bunks from within the dorms and placed each bed frame individually on the floor. And we continue to review and evaluate safety protocols to prevent such an accident from ever happening again. Adding, we continue to offer Easton Oliverson our prayers and support as he recovers and heals. For the Oliversons, it's been nine months since the fall that changed their lives forever. Three brain surgeries, many weeks in the hospital, and countless hours in rehab, Easton still has a long road to recovery. What's next in his journey? It's kind of the unknown. I will tell you one thing, though. It was very easy to see that through power of prayer, anything is possible. And the Oliversons credit the power of prayer for why Easton is still here today, calling their son a miracle, saying even the doctors say he shouldn't be here. And they say, you know, everyone around the world was praying for him. Yeah. So they're so grateful to all of those people. But just a reminder for parents to think about those bunk beds, especially as kids are heading off mm -hmm. for summer camp. All right. Thank you so much for your reporting. What a, what a family. What a family. We wish him a full, full recovery. Yeah. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here so go on click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day anytime we thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA